Can you organize the unorganized? Well, if you're someone like me, where maybe organizing isn't your thing, where maybe you have a wife or a friend or your friends are telling you, man, you're messy, you got stuff all over the place and how do you, how do you like get stuff done? And it would be so much better if you found a way to organize. My mind has this cool tool. The proposition is basically make it very easy to store anything and just load it into, our, into the system and AI technology will make it very easy to search through everything. So I wanted to give it a go. I wanted to show you some use cases here because I think it's pretty unique in what they do and I think it's something worth having a look. All right, so I'll just show you some examples. I've been using post-its for a long time to organize my to-do list and on various projects, various things that I have. Also been using uh, a book uh, where I just end up writing bullets of what of the things that I need to do. Everything from using, uh, I've tried notes, craft, uh, notion, all these various digital formats uh, where you know, typically there's some kind of menu on the left, uh, a folder structure to organize things, and then you have uh, you know, you find a way to, I guess, organize or, or, or see your files on the right. What I've noticed on the digital versions, those, nothing's really stuck for me. And so I always find myself coming back to this where, but I understand the value of having something digital because you can do more than, you can just collect a lot more stuff and it can be very easy to access at any time. So I've always been kind of open to trying new stuff. What caught my mind about my mind was that particularly the, I think on their, headline on their website is it's just sort of I think I yeah I really liked it and I I mean remember everything organized nothing so how do you organize the unorganizable if that's a thing uh, that's something that really appealed to me and so what I wanted to do and just looking at the site they really take and you know they really emphasize a good aesthetic a great design so I mean I there was something appealing to just try this so what you're looking at right now is their desktop application. And I just wanna show you a few things what I really like about it. Basically everything that you're seeing right there are just things that I've collected over over the past couple weeks. And what that is is just a bunch of, uh, let's say every time there's a site that I find, let's say something I want to save. So for example, I do web design. Uh, let's say I like this, I find inspiration. All I have to do is just click uh, the button you can see that something changed here and it's already saved and here here it pops up and then you have you have this uh, yeah you have this image stored in your mind but what's super cool is it also pulls out the color palette so if I want to play with these colors and some kind of design of myself I can just use them here so I think that's super cool uh, also from a um, you know this is one of the projects that I'm working on myself so let's say I wanted to collect uh, sort of screenshots and various stuff Everything can just go very easily into their system. So here, for example, I'll just take a screenshot of this and using their desktop app, I can just dra drop it in there and then it takes it. So that's pretty cool. And automatically you see the, uh, the color palette. So that's pretty cool. The amazing part, what I find that they're doing is they said rather than you yourself trying to organize everything and come up with your own folder structure and naming and convention and all that stuff, as they say, let's use artificial intelligence to try to uh, give some tags to it automatically so you don't have to think about it. So here, they've already, you know, by default, it's just coming up with random things. So image, uh, I don't know, sometimes they're off logo, but I guess I have the chance, yeah, I can just X them out. Uh, but screenshot, so it recognizes that this is a potential screenshot, and I can also add uh, tags. So let's say uh, this is my project, so I'll just call it like that. So what I think is neat about this is that I don't have to think about all that. And so when it comes to searching, I just can say, oh, what was that screenshot? Uh, oh, there, I type in screenshot and it shows it, shows it right there. So that's pretty cool. The other th cool thing, and this is more like post-its, is like, Usually what I have is one per project on a, I have a one post-it. So here I can do, I can just come up with my to-dos. And what I've done over the past couple weeks is I said, okay, for each project I'm working on, uh, let me just uh, come up with, let me create a note. And in that note, I'll have a to-do list. And so it rec the system recognizes that there's to-do list on these various notes and it can pull them all up here. And for me, I find from a visual perspective and the way that I kind of work, this is pretty 
easy to, I mean, it's just, it's, it reminds me of post-its and I feel like this is something I could work with. So here I just click in and here I can see like, here's my to-do list of, of this particular project. And you have the options of, you know, not only do they have to be, po um, what do you call it? Uh, to do's or little uh, bullets, but you can just add text and you have all these options of adding links, more, more stuff into this. Uh, so, I mean, it's a, uh, it's pretty cool. So let me see, uh, what I wanted to, just another thing is just when it comes to videos, you can, if you have a Webflow site, you're using collections and you can upload videos. So all this stuff I find is really good. And it seems like, you know, there's, there's just a bunch of clutter. But what I what I feel for myself is the clutter that part is okay like the, in the sense that as long as you're collecting everything and you have a really good way of fetching uh, whatever it is that you need and they have a really strong search then I think you're okay uh, so you know if I wanted to type in if I type in yellow for example it's pulling up something that had you know that was automatically tagged as yellow let's try blue no red oh, oh maybe this doesn't working. Uh, some things don't work. Uh, YouTube, it recognizes that this is a YouTube video. So, I mean, there's just, you know, there's just some great things about this. And um, just to show you a few other things, uh, serendipity, you, this is, okay, we have to do a cleanup at some point. So let's say I do want to keep that, but this, I just want to forget it. I don't need it anymore. And this is for, you know, when it comes to, uh, for parents, this might be interesting if I want to type, I'm just looking for toys. So I've been able to just start, you know, you can easily just save stuff and then you can have a list of everything. And then this is something that the parents can just look at and say, you know, you know, do the research. Maybe it's a easier way to just, you know, put everything together. All right. Uh, so yeah, I mean, these are just a few, I just want to run through a few cases uh, where I find this interesting. And, and yeah, I think from just a user perspective, it's just different uh, than the typical way that we think of organizing our notes and folders. And so I would highly suggest that if you find yourself, you know, you're working on one with one of those tools, say for Notion, for example, but you find that you kind of drift away or you don't feel like really committed to it, uh, there's something not sticky there. And this, this tool has a different approach to it. And it, maybe it might be, it might be the missing solution. So I, I highly, I, I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely worth a try. And what I really like is their manifesto where they're really, they're really on this whole thing of, you know, this is all about, uh, it's a, it, it's a personal application. It's just for you. We don't want to have it, you know, where, you know, no tracking, no social. It just feels like it's a very private, they really respect your privacy uh, kind of tool. And there's not many out there that do that. So I think that there's something, you know, something that feels secure about this. I think you can feel like, you know, it's it's really personal just for you. And with that, there's a lot of advantages because they'll be building out the tools that are really meant to just help uh, one person succeed and organizing <laughs> the unorganizable. All right. Hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them uh, regarding the app because I think it's a pretty cool thing to try. All right. Have a great day. You know, post-its or, or books, or maybe you are using these and you find these pretty good, but you wanna go to a digital format. And so you've tried things like Notion, Evernote, Craft Notes, all these things where there's sort of, there's a logic where you have folders and you somehow find a way to organize them. And you always have to put things in folders. I don't know, for something, for, for someone like me that never worked out so well, post-its and, and the book have been the, the thing that I always end up going back to. But I want to go to something more digital and because of the advantages. 